where do they live? In the water. Souls are represented by fish. And so God has prophetically from the Genesis spoken to us that we are the ones that are to rule and reign, take authority and dominion over the air, over the land. What is Adam made out of? Land. But he blew the Ruach spirit into him, and it's the spirit that gives life and quickens us so that we can move in the spiritual realms of God. So we will pray Job 22, 27, and 30. Job 22, 27, and 30. We will pray to him, and he will hear you. So many times we think, is God hearing me? And we think there's a ceiling over us. But it says in that scripture, and you will pay your vows, you will also decree a thing, and it will be established for you, and light will shine on your ways. When you are cast down, you will speak with your mouth in confidence, and the humble person he will save. He will deliver one who is not innocent, and he will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands." Our anointing, our faith level can cover somebody. And because of our right standing with God, we can pull them out of the pit. And we can say, you have favor. God has given you a grace. You have a hope and an opportunity to step out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Because I decree it so. And if they will connect, they can step into salvation by calling on the name of Jesus. Ephesians 1, 11 and 12. In him you are also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. Before you were even born, God had written the book about you. Every one of your days is numbered. He knew the choices you would make, the people you would marry, the jobs you would take, the children you would have the gifts that he had given you, and he wrote your book before you were born. All we're doing is fulfilling the call and the destiny on our life that he has already gone before us to make the way possible. There are many paths out there, and we can choose any of them because he gave us free choice, but there's consequences to the choices that we make. Our will has to be to him, not in a permissive will, but in the perfect will of God. If we want to accomplish the things that the preceding word is speaking over us, we have to be humble and obedient so that he can lift us up. He said, if you will humble yourselves, I will lift you up. And so our position is to humble ourselves because we don't want the mighty hand of God humbling us. He's well able. Romans 8, 29 and 30. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to his likeness and into the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those that are predestined, he also called. Those he called, he justified. Those he justified, he glorified. You know, Jesus said that I will not share my glory with another, but you are not another. You are part of the bride. You are part of a remnant. You are part of the body of Christ, and Christ himself is living within you. And he said, I have already glorified you. When Jesus was on earth, he said, I am being glorified by my Father. The glory that you have given me, I give unto them. We've got to step into the glory realm, and it's here today. When it comes, it permeates us, and we're in the presence of an almighty God here and surrounded around about us. When we're in his presence, we are changed. We are transformed into new creatures. 
Behold, I make all things new, and surely goodness and mercy will follow you every day of your life. So every morning that we awaken, we're stepping into a glory realm where goodness and mercy, which are spiritual beings, are following around us, and grace and favor is out in front of us, so there's no way that we can fail. John 14, Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that where I am, you may be also. And most of the time preachers preach that as your mansion off in heaven when you die and you go into glory. There's your mansion. But this is a now word of spiritual dimensions that are opened and ready for us. And Jesus in the, is in a higher place, but he's also in us, bilocated. And so there's a pathway from the heavenly places where he is seated in God, in Christ Jesus. And they're not two separate thrones. He and God are one, and we are one with them. 